Greetings. Today I've got a black box to take apart. And the black box uh, is a computer. So, in simple words, um, it's a very specific uh, computer. Um, and uh, in, in detail, um, this is actually made by uh, AOPEN. Um, it, the model is DE7000, so this is uh, what they call a digital engine. So this is a type of a computer that runs uh, displays and uh, screens at uh, exhibitions or in the shops or, uh, or whatnot. Uh, it's an unusual type of uh, computer. It hasn't got a power supply, so you'll need a DC 20 volts uh, to get it running. Uh, but um, apart from that, it's a fully functional um, computer. Now, um, this one here, I've been told she's dead. Um, she's been cooked, uh, as far as I know. Um, so I will try to rip her apart and uh, apply some uh, power to it, see what happens. Uh, but other than that, it will be a really cool um, look inside something unusual. Um, I'm not sure what kind of spec it is. Um, there is of this DE7000 series has got uh, quite a few uh, different models, and obviously, like any computer, you can spec it in many different ways and whatnot. Uh, but I think it will be a really cool uh, look at a computer um, from a thermal management uh, point of view, uh, because it's really compact and really small. Um, this is. Uh, I don't know uh, what could I compare this to, but uh, um, yeah, it's roughly about the size of a Wii games console, uh, slightly smaller actually. Um, so it's actually a just a tiny bit bigger than this than a CD-ROM drive. So it's really compact and um, really small. Um, so they must have done some clever, uh, clever thermal management solutions inside. Um, it's got more well, four USB ports, um, serial, uh, ATA network, HDMI, um, screen output, uh, serial ports, you know, the usual audio jacks and whatnot. And this is mainly designed to be mounted either in a rack or um, or somewhere in an installation. But yeah. Um, anyways, let's 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 start uh, actually. Um, as usual, I see screws, I take them off and see what happens. So, we've got two on the back and I suspect that's going to be all that there is uh, to it to, to get under the skirt. This should ah, there we go. So the front, after two screws on the back, the front panel comes off and okay, um, we've got uh, we've got a fan. Uh, I can already see some copper underneath. Um, so here, what we have is just a connector to a button and a couple of what is that? Or two more USB ports on the front. Okay, so those are um, two USB ports, and this is a button with a backlight. It probably um, changes colors yeah, because there's way too many cables for just a button. So most likely, it's, uh, there is a multicolored uh, LED over there that um, changes colors depending on the state of the machine. Um, but yeah, before we go any further, because uh, I haven't got a jack. Let me actually see if I can cobble something up and uh, apply some voltage to it and see what happens. Okay, uh, there we go. I've uh, makeshifted a uh, barrel jack plug. I've got 20 volts on my uh, power supply, so let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, something uh, on the fan starts spinning. And the LEDs are flashing. They're all blue. They just uh, 
there's just more than one. Um, it's drawing. Uh, one point five five amps at the moment. Let's see if we. Okay, if I press the button, it goes off. Um, only the fan actually comes up. I don't think much is happening with this right now. And yeah, 1.5, 1.6 amps. Uh, that's all that's happening. Um, so yeah, this was this was deemed to be faulty. So when when those things go go bad, uh, no one opens them up. They just simply unscrew it and screw a new one back in, and that's uh, all. And they just bin the old one, and I've simply saved one from the bin. Uh, but yeah. I'm tempted to plug in a screen to see what happens. But maybe later. Because now I really want to take it apart. So there's four more screws over here. I'm interested to see what what sort of insides are here and I'll just drop the screw inside which is not really ideal but not a big deal anyways and by the way I've had it going only for well, during the length of the previous shot and I can already Feel it's gotten quite quite warm, so it might be the hard drive, it might be the CPU that's toasty, right? And let me get that screw first. Let's unplug this one, two. And three, and yeah, that's uh, that's just the front front panel cover. Um, clearly, there is a option for a CD-ROM drive over here, uh, but it's not fitted in this unit, and it would sit over here. One of those slimline uh, laptop uh, CD-ROMs. And how do I get further down? Is this? There we go. Okay, so there is a 160 gig hard drive, West End Digital, um, Scorpio Blue, and the right angle CD-ROM mount. Uh, there is some RAM over here. Oh, dusty. I think this whole thing, the heat, but you can see the main processor is here underneath this. And that whole thing is... I think the fan is being held to it as well, so we can open the fan. We're going to take the heat sink off. Oh, no, no thermal paste, which is really interesting. So what we have is a big BGA with a thermal, one of those th thick thermal pads on it. Uh, I'm going to destroy this, so I better leave it. And the processor here. I'll need to Google this. Okay, so this turns out to be um, Core 2 Duo uh, 
2.2e, uh, sorry, P8400 2.26 gigahertz free meg cache. Um, and this, uh, I couldn't resist, I did uh, push it out a little bit off the line, and it's a NVIDIA. Yeah, um, NVIDIA MCP7A LP B3. So it's a graphics chipset, uh, clearly, because it's from NVIDIA. And I think that's what's gone busted, because this thing has got no video output. Um, so, yeah, maybe that thermal management wasn't all that great. So, there is no thermal paste, uh, apart from this uh, thermal foam that was uh, on top of the NVIDIA chip. Um, the processor actually has got um, just direct uh, contact to this uh, what appears to be an aluminium uh, yeah aluminium foil and that was it and um, this whole thing is just really just a thick sheet of copper and with the fan mount mounted to it uh, two heat pipes uh, going across to the radiator and um, that's where the blower and blows everything out um, it's interesting uh, it's like most case with the heat sinks but um, yeah you you screw them fully in but they are they have got uh, a spring so there is a uniform and just the right amount of pressure uh, mounted and pressing the heat sink down um, now let's see there is of course a zero insertion for socket. Now it hasn't got a lever but it's got this screw over here that if I turn it released. And that's the that's the processor. That's core to core to duo. nice piece of silicon and a lot of pins let's put them back in what else can we get out of this uh, 2 gig of uh, RAM memory uh, DDR uh, 1333 uh, yeah well you know what to be honest it's it's a computer and um, that's all there is to it to be honest and I was I was actually hoping to for this to be a little bit more interesting but it just seems that the whole um, whole thing is uh, mounted really compactly and they've been this is the only uh, Heatsink for the whole thing, for the whole uh, whole unit. So yeah, possibly that's the weak point of this, and probably that's why this one um, cocked out. Um, there is a mini card, what appears to be a mini card slot over here, and this can probably fit some sort of extension card. Maybe I don't know, Wi-Fi or whatever else that might be. Um, there is a unused USB. One, two, two unused USB ports on the board, um, which can probably have more cables like this plugged in. And what else? Is there anything underneath? No. It's probably not worth taking the board out right at this stage because they, there won't be much. There is an RF gasket. Uh, around uh, hold on I've lost the camera yeah, there we go so yeah there's a RF gasket around all the uh, ports and sockets that it's a big uh, just one sheet of uh, this fabric that's woven out of um, little conductive wires and that's that's about it so yeah that's oh, what's this 
Well, that's a backup battery, so that's uh, that's a th I'm sure that's a CR uh, yeah twenty thirty two, uh, but it's got a really fancy holder. So let's see. Yeah, so they couldn't have a, they didn't have a space for a, uh, for a battery uh, on the board, so they've got this little plastic cover, and this is just a plastic housing with two um, cable connectors uh, for the three volt uh, battery backup, and that's connected over here. Uh, at one, well, on first glance, I thought it was a, a piezo buzzer, but it's no, it's battery. And yeah, quite a lot of uh, big inductors I'm seeing over here. One, two, three, and those have got uh, a bit more of that uh, blue uh, heat transfer foam. So um, it's this this area is probably getting hot. This is probably the power for the CPU, and. Yeah, I think that's it uh, for this one. I might see if I can. Uh, I'll double check what sort of memory have I got in my one of my other netbooks. Uh, just a low power machine that I use for uh, uploading ready videos. And um, yeah, I might upgrade if because that's as far as I remember that thing has got only a gig of RAM in there. I might put this one in uh, if it's. Uh, if it's the right type, I can't remember what's in there, but yeah, that's about it. That's what you get, uh, what you find in a industrial micro PC. Very miniature computer. With uh, not so great thermal management. Because I think that's overheated and that's what caused it to die. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and take care.